All right, today with the X3, we're going to light them up, throw some accent light to it. This is all by Infinite Off-Road. It's a buddy back in Tennessee. It's got some great products with a 25-year no-questions-asked warranty. You break it, he'll fix it or replace it or whatever. Got a pretty cool grill with a light bar in it. Got his rock lights. He's got these Shadow Reaper rock lights. This one is actually a dome light, so it's got its own little on-off switch. Got some splitters, some extension cords in case you need some length. Got a little light strip you can probably put under the spare tire carrier that we can see out back. But these rock lights are the only rock lights that have a full white LED along with other colors. So it's not mixing colors to make white, it's fully white. But they can do blue, green, red, orange, whatever. This is your little controller and all your colors. And he also just now started having these accent lights with the same LEDs in them. That way your accent lights will match your rock lights. So everything can be orange, everything can be blue, green, whatever you want. Pretty awesome. So we're gonna take the Can-Am and give him some accent, light him up. All right, so you're gonna start lighting her up. You gotta get her apart. You wanna replace the grill, you gotta take everything off, along with your little accent lights. Take your front hood off. It's just little push button rubber style things that pops off. You got two bolts here. Got a bolt here on each side. RC models, it's a little hard to get around this bumper because the plastic's kind of molded to it, but it, it will come off. Um, take those bolts loose. There's a bolt here on each side, comes out. A bolt and a nut here. Each side comes out, these are all T30s. There's a bolt right there, and a bolt right there. And then on the other side of this little headlight adjuster, there's a little wood screw looking bolt, a little T20. Take it loose because that way it will loosen the headlights from the actual fan frame and such as that and everything's loose so once you do that i'm gonna pick up and get everything loose. that's why i say there's a bolt back here because it goes through that get everything loose and set it all up so on the front end, once you get these loose, you have to get them, you gotta pick it up and get it past it. Kind of one side at a time. It will come loose. Yeah, and then like that. And then everything will scoot back, because all this is loose. You scoot it all back. Pick up on it, and then the whole nose comes off. Get the, so once you get the nose off, get it up on a workbench. You have to do some taking apart. You know, one side and then the other. So your headlight, that's a seven millimeter. Take that off, and then down in there, that little T20, that's the same size as it was holding this one. So you take those two out, and that little seven, and the headlight comes off. Lights over here. Get that out of the way. And you got a couple of T30s. One right here. One right here. And another little T20. It takes this little plastic guard off. That goes right there. Then you have one more T20 holding right here. That is usually covered by that guard. And you can actually get your accent light out. And kind of just pick up on stuff, move it out of the way. These little tabs, one right there, one right there, are what actually slide in these little grooves. They're not, I mean, they're slightly locked. Just gently pry up on it, and your accent light will come out. And you can pop your new one back in right where it goes, one side at a time. Then you go and worry about taking your grill off. You want to do your grill work. So as far as your grill goes, for grill change out, there's a T20 right here on both sides, and then there's just these little clips. Just push on them, and it'll pop out. It's not, and they're incredibly tight. Those little clips there. And basically, you 
put in your new grill. So once you got your grill out, take your new grill, basically pop the two center bolts out on top and bottom. They provide you with some extra bolts, which are longer. Take your little brackets. One goes on the bottom, one goes on the top. And it's in plastic, so just get it snug. You'll be able to wiggle it around, move it to get it centered. And in short, you put your grill up in here. And when you put it up in there, the holes line up. It basically pinches it to the plastic. Then your grill is mounted. Continue with your other accent light. And then your grill's done. So once you get your grill and front nose back on, of course, we've got our light bar. And we have our new accent lights that have multicolor LED in them. Accent lights will come through here. Your old accent lights will just zip tie that plug up out of the way. Drill a hole through the side for your light bar and your off lights. You can kind of mount them wherever. Uh, I put a four way splitter up here. That way, if I want to take the nose off, you just unplug the accent lights and the whole nose comes off. Make sure it doesn't get in the fan. Pretty simple. And run your wires back through your firewall. I end up shocks. With this little reservoir tank, it's hard to get the wires through there, but they will go. Push your wires through the firewall. And then bring your wires in through here. Run it straight back all the way over to your bus bar. There you are. I tied in a switch and put it up here just so I can flip them on and off. And then you can use the app to roll through power colors, power and colors, or you can use remote control. On the back end of the machine, we mounted our rock lights right here on each side, and we actually put a LED strip right above the muffler. That way, when everything's on, it would basically glow everywhere the light pushes through. Run those wires up, down across, over into the console. Very simple. Once you have your wires coming into the console from the back, into the console from the front, then you'll tie in your controller box. Like I, said, I wired it into a switch. And then you can use your controller to roll through different colors. Or you can use the app. But very simple, easy to do. It just takes a while to run wires and keeping them clean. You know, but there's our rock lights rolling through colors. All our plugs, and then there's our accent lights rolling through colors. Accent lights and rock lights match. And here's our rear rock lights. They're shining down roughly right here. Rock lights are awesome, cool, cool looking stuff, but they're also handy because if you're ever at night, you have an issue out here, you have light pointed towards where you would have an issue. Of course, there's the back end. It's kind of hard to see at night, but it's going to be glowing out through the muffler area. Really cool setup. And that's the infinite off-road rock light with accent light option. And roll through our colors. Go green, blue, red. All the different colors down here. Or you can make it jump around. However you want. Infinite off-road rock lights with accent light option. Pretty awesome, check them out.